Hey, from the Grandma Nan stash for silly old seniors. We're here today. Did you see this? When I couldn't see anymore? This is what I made. I mean, you just can't give up, right? You've got to keep on going. All right, for silly old seniors, it's July 25th, 2008. And this is the Doc and Doll Press, and we're presenting Seniors at Hazel's House. Here we are at Hazel's House one more time. If you haven't heard about us already, well then back up a few and you'll catch us under uh, from Grandma Nan's stash. And now we're the Silly Seniors, what, for Silly Old Seniors. That's what we are with this group. And it's uh, today at Hazel's House. We're going to, oh, and I wanted to say, it's show and tell. Nothing to sell, just show and tell. And today, we're going to make a book. Uh, well, I'm going to show you how I make a book and how I, whoops, find a book. Ah, warm today. It always is in Hawaii. We're at a thousand foot elevation, but... It's still warm. Of course, it gets cold at night, uh, but then in the daytime you can sweat. Of course, sweating's good. Of course, they say uh, women perspire, men sweat. Or is it horses sweat, men perspire, and women... Uh, what is it? Uh, women... Uh, God, I forgot. Somebody tell me. Add me to your favorites. Subscribe. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Nanette. I'm your social, philosophical, poetic commentator of the day, of which Garrison Keeler is one great one. George Carlin is another one that comes to mind. Great social philosophers, and they love to stick stuff in verse. And here I am when I look my best at 39. Hey. All right, so we took care of the introduction. Let's move me way back in the back. I don't know how far back you can get me. Just to let you know. Is that going to work? All right. That works and it doesn't cover up anything in the back, probably. But you've seen that before, too, our little hula hula back here. All right, now let's get our... Uh, You'll never guess what's in my little purse. You'll never guess. Let me show you. It's so funny. You figured it out? Can you see them? I should show them to the camera instead of the, the monitor. Huh? I talk to my monitor all the time. My, my son says, you're supposed to look at the camera. I said, I never have been good at looking at the camera. But camera, can you see? At Scrabble tiles, right? This is a great. Oh, I just lost one. Oh no! Oh no! I can't lose any of them. Where did it go? Oh my goodness! Oh my word! How did it disappear? My dog is too powerful. Oh my word! I've lost the tile. Well, we can't do this forever. I mean, we got to get busy and before we run out of time, huh? I'll have to catch that tile later. Get down on the floor and find it. Anyway, today, phew, I'm already sweating. Okay, so today, uh, I want to show you how I put the be together a book, how I bind a book, and, uh, you know, maybe, uh, get a little cooled off here, a little air through my hair. I get so excited just doing one of these films that I heat up. <laughs> just the whole thing is like, all right, it's so exciting to look at myself in the stupid monitor, which is supposed to be the mirror, and, and, and like myself. That's a hard thing to do, so everybody try it. Get yourself a Logitech camera, look in the camera, and run this stuff until you like yourself. You get used to looking at yourself, get used to listening to yourself, 
and, uh, and, and, and then you feel so much better about it. Well, anyway, it works for me, right? Okay, so first I want to tell you uh, what I think about binding. Now, binding is uh, something that could be very expensive or could be very cheap. I love this kind of binding. I don't own this kind of binding. You saw the kind of binding I own, and we'll show you that. But this one, I really, I, I grabbed it up because it's my kind of book. It's got thick cardboard, really thick pages, really nice. And it's very simple, easy to grab up and look at and put away and open up and leave where you want to read it, right? You can, uh, you know, so this is, uh, and why they're just doing them in cookbooks when they should be doing them in everything, I don't know, but... Uh, borders and here's another one with the same idea they even put a plastic a piece over the top because it's a cookbook they did this plastic thing over it look at that man that cost a few cents and then they printed on top of it so that's expensive and yet uh, three dollars it was stuck outside border in one of those sales things this was too but where did the price on this price on this isn't here oh here it is uh, four dollars $4 for this one, outside the door. Do they stick them outside the door where you are? I don't know. Borders is really good here in Hilo. Okay, so we have, uh, in this one, we have uh, uh, regular kind of paper. Well, it isn't even. It's it's really a nice quality paper, and it would take a laser printer. Uh, I can't have a laser printer because I don't have enough juice. Uh, we operate on our own electric system our own water system, our own power system, our own sewer system. Uh, we, we, we have to get outside help for the telephone, but uh, when we moved here there wasn't any telephone poles, no telephone lines, no electrical lines, no pavement, no mail delivery, no water, no sewer, no anything but jungle. And we couldn't even walk on our property because it was so jungled out, there was no place to put your foot. So uh, we've come a long way in nickel and diming it because we're a part of the poor white trash that used to think we were the middle class, but now we know we fell through the cracks and we're just plain poor white trash, right? So okay, so we've crossed the binding on those. Now the next thing I want to talk about is when you're printing, you have so many different ways to print, and if you have uh, lots of um, uh, ink and lots of paper on the on the plain old side you can get carried away and do something like this and of course this went through blue ink like crazy as you can see here uh, it did really good at uh, printing it and so this is probably one of the easiest ones to do one color all the way through and of course this all came from the printer in that little Guy, and then I and then I blew it up in order to get a big copy so I could read it now that I can't read anymore right I wrote this in 1974 when my second husband died and um, and it's still hanging out with me because some of the best words I've ever written are in this naughty little book that was like my first right and it's all one color on plain paper 